Well, Republicans launched a formal impeachment inquiry into President Biden, accusing him of profiting from his son's foreign business deals. Washington correspondent Raquel Martin has the latest. Well, impeachment is reserved for high crimes and misdemeanors, but despite limited evidence so far, today Speaker of the House Kevin McCarthy says he wants House committees to start building a case for impeachment against President Biden. We will go wherever the evidence takes us. Speaker of the House Kevin McCarthy is directing House committees to launch a formal impeachment inquiry into President Joe Biden. Republicans accused the president of misusing his office as vice president to enrich himself and his son, Hunter. Through our investigations, we have found that President Biden did lie to the American people about his own knowledge of his family's foreign business dealings. The impeachment inquiry comes as McCarthy faces mounting pressure from conservative members of his own party. But moments after the announcement, one of them, Florida Republican Congressman Matt Gates, said the speaker's actions fall short. This is a baby step following weeks of pressure from House conservatives to do more. We must move faster. Democrats say Republicans' claims are unfounded and okay, political. The impeachment inquiry is absurd. The American people want us to do something that will make their lives better. There's absolutely zero evidence, zero evidence that President Biden is actually engaged in any sort of supporter business dealings with um, with his son. A White House spokesperson calls the inquiry, quote, extreme politics at its worst. And even a handful of House Republicans are publicly opposed to this impeachment inquiry. Over the weekend, Colorado Congressman Ken Buck, who's part of the conservative House Freedom Caucus, said there's simply not enough evidence connecting the president to his son's dealings. Renown Washington, Raquel Martin, back to you.